Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here. Today, we finally get to go over our big old Bass Pro Shop unboxing here that I got um, about a week or two ago. Super excited to show you guys what I got. We'll go ahead and just start off with the, some of the baits I already have on my rod right here. So this is a Mega Bass Slow, if I'm saying that correctly. And it's just a soft body swim bait. Get it out for you guys right here. And it's got a treble hook on the back of it, or like underneath the belly there, that you can go ahead and just stick underneath the slot there. So that makes that, uh, buries that one hook. So then just looks like that with a feather. Really killer looking bait in like an IU color here, a five inch bait. Not sure if it says the exact color. Oh no, this is a seven inch bait, sorry. Seven inches long. It weighs in one and one fourth ounce, so. Pretty big lure, but a really nice swim bait. Caught a couple fish on it the other day. Really like the looks of that thing a lot. Killer looking bait. This is the Strike King Hack Attack Pad Perch. This is one of their new frog type lures. This is in sexy bluegill color. Again, it's already on my rod, so I gotta show you guys this way. Swinging on over here. Alrighty. This thing I am super impressed with. I'm not sure the price point on it, I think it may be $9.99. It seems pretty standard for Strike King lures, but this thing did not take on a single bit of water while I was fishing it all day besides one fish grabbed it, took it underwater, and was chewing on it. And that was the only time it filled up with water. Um, I never had to fix the hook or replace it or anything. It's got some wear and tear on it, but definitely a killer looking frog. Worked excellent. I highly recommend you guys check that one out for sure. Two lure lock boxes here. Got one here and one here with the cover still on it. You guys can see it there. Let you guys look at the back. Killer boxes. Again, with these guys, they uh, comes with a stick or two. I end up putting that guy in the boat. Comes with the green dividers. And then again, inside here is a sticky residue. It doesn't stick to your bait or anything. It doesn't stick to your fingers. Like there's no residue on my fingers or anything. And it's just to hold stuff better in place. I'm probably gonna use this for uh, maybe more finesse style stuff, really small hooks and stuff like that, that kind of get lost in the uh, dividers and they kind of go all over the place. So I think I'm gonna use this, these two boxes more for uh, finesse style baits, whether it be drop shots or finesse shaky head stuff like that. Oh. My God, that's what we're talking about. Pretty standard, some black nickel plated pliers. I actually dropped mine in the lake um, a couple weeks ago, so just ended up getting a new pair. Some nice Bass Pro pliers. Nothing super fancy, but there's one of the items. We gotta move kind of fast because I got so much stuff. So here we got some Zoom z3 trick worms this is in z3 magic and these guys i got these guys for two dollars and 49 cents at bass pro shops good looking color like a bluish green and brown tint to it there nice looking worms i know i got a couple packs of zoom stuff here we got the mag two this is in red shad right here just a natural curly tail worm the wife actually picked these ones out for me because she liked the color, so why not go ahead and get them? Alrighty, here we got a mus musky lure. This is called the Tyrant. Um, I have a popper in there right now that doesn't belong. This is called the Tyrant right here. There's the package, nothing crazy on the package. Something else I want to be targeting this year is some musky and pike and stuff like that. I've never caught a musky before, so this is a big old topwater lure. Got a black steel leader on there. Threw it around for two hours a week, a week or so ago. Um, had one big bite on it, but I think it was a bass, but he never got hooked up. So this is like a double plopper sound. One in the front, or one in the back and one in the front there. Has really nice action to it, so. There's the Tyrant. Alrighty, got some striking 
Kevin Van Dam Tournament Series crankbait tier. This is the KVD 1.5 and this is the rattling version. Only available through Bass Pro Shops. You can't get them anywhere else. Strike King Red Eye Shad there. Half ounce version. Red Crawl. Killer Color. Oh, what else we got? Some Tournament Series Tricolor Worms. Then Sexy Shad. Nice finesse drop shot baits for this summertime here. Of course, we got to go ahead with uh, Z Man, Elastec, TRDs, and a bait fish color. White Lightning, it's called White Silver Flake. Killer color. Fish these guys today. These guys are really cool. Z Man, Elastec, Trick Shots, another drop shot finesse worm. This color is in Twilight. Picked it up because it's an interesting color, really vibrant and bright. For my main reason, picking it up because it's pink and purple. Trying different colors and just exotic things and see how they do. And that bait definitely did really well. So, um, here's some swim baits I've never heard about before. These are the Spark Shads. Very interesting baits. Um, monster hunting baits. Uh, Mega Bass. So, this must be a Mega Bass. Yeah, this is built by Mega Bass themselves. So it's made in Japan. Everything's in Japanese, so I don't know much about it, but it looks like a killer little swim bait. Can't wait to be trying that guy out also. Here we got some Savage Gear Gobi tubes, real 3D scan. So it's got the Gobi body, and then it's got the tube back to it. Very interesting. You guys can see the photo right there of what it looks like. And this color is in watermelon copper purple black flake crazy name for it oh what else do we got we got some spike it dip and glow dye we got red and i know i have a chartreuse one around here somewhere in this box whopper plopper 90 can't go wrong with this guy this color is red a tat tat i love that color a lot don't have it in the 90 size went ahead and picked it up Tournament Series Stickos, really, really small, like Wacky Rig baits, but going to be using it for the Ned Rig. A little too small for Wacky Rig. Ned Rig is going to be killer. This is in Smoke Purple Flake. Absolute killer color there. Oh, what else we got here? Got the Jean LaRue. Got to go ahead and get some more of these Biffle Bugs. These are awesome flipping and punching baits. Really like this color. This is the Shimmering Gobi. Comes in an 8 count. Kind of like a greenish pumpkin and it's got like the bluish silver tint to it really nice color really picked that color up or that bait up just for the color itself um got some hook bandits here like the or the bonnets to keep your hooks these are by al's goldfish lure company got a few packs of those in here somewhere here's some zoom salty super flukes sexy shad color can't go wrong with these guys during the summer months and the fall. Always got to have some flukes on you. Here's some more super su or salty super fluke. Rainbow shad. Always good to go with those natural shad colors there. Oh man, what else we got? Another interesting color. So this is a Rage Tail Rage Craw. These are always great baits. I actually have no more anywhere. I'm all ran out of them. Never fished this color before. This is Chartreuse Pepper. Very interesting color. Can't wait to give it a go. Never fished it before, so that's why I picked that color. I might have got two packs of those guys. Here's another Rage Call in Moon Juice. Kind of reminds me of that other Gobi color. It's like a greenish pumpkin, and it's got that bluish tint to it. Really nice color. These guys are, ba are great baits. Again, has that coffee scent inside there. And speaking of coffee scent, we go ahead and we got some Strike King coffee scent lure attractant. I love this stuff. I swear by it. I just, I really believe in that coffee scent on some of these baits. They work amazing. So that's definitely one I'll be using throughout all, all season long fishing baits. Another Rage Craw, Big Texan. Again, like a dark brown. Then into a little bit lighter orange, orange and green flake in there. Killer color, very natural. Oh yeah, here we go. More Strike King. We got the Structure Bug in a standard PB&J color. Really natural. 
PB and J is always a good color to be throwing. Oh, what else do we got here? Here's some more of the Bonnets by L Goldfish. Missile Baits D Bomb Watermelon Red. Again, summertime flipping all this grass and stuff. I love beaver baits and stuff like that. Killer stuff. I don't know why Guggen Baits is in here. They don't have them at Pass Pro. <laughs> oh, here's a big lure I'm excited for. Livingston Lures, the B Viper 8. A big old glide bait. So I'm going to be using this targeting musky, and I'm sure I'll catch a few pike on it. Again, Livingston Lures. So this is has that uh, bait fish technology built into it that makes the noise. And this lure is adjustable too, so you can take the weights out of this guy, and you can make it either a top water, um, a slow wake bait, you know, mid surface, and then you can make it slow sink too. So you can cover all the water columns with this guy by just taking the weights out and replacing them or emptying them, making it heavier, making it lighter, etc. Killer looking bait. Um, this color is gold metallic scale black. Like a big old gold shine or gizzard chat or something. Killer color, I really like that. Alrighty, here's the other spike it dip it die. Garlic scent, and we got chartreuse. We got chartreuse in red, that's like the major colors I think you all need. Here's a worm. If you guys seen the video, I'm not sure if I posted it yet, but if you did, you've seen the video. Another zoom trick worm. Again, I've never fished trick worms in my life. And I've never fished bright colors like this. This is a lime truce, so it's a super bright lime green color. This worm absolutely killed it, guys. I fished it on a shaky head, and it just it just slaughtered bass all day long. Um, what I really like about them, I got another pack right here. What I really like, like about these is they float. So, you know, if a fish are on top water and stuff, you're fishing grass and stuff, Texas Read That Guy Weedless twitch it you know work it it'll just start gliding you know act like a little snake or any kind of bug or anything like that fish will go crazy for it so if you guys haven't tried that way weightless version since it floats and uses it as a top water you guys will be killing them another structure bug california crawl color big old pack of stinkos this is a tournament series by bass pro called the sticko bright pink just fished these guys recently too, had a lot of success. Was really happy with those. Again, pink, some color I've never thrown before. Another trick worm. This is in bruised banana. So a brown and a little bit of yellow slash chartreuse in there. Picked up a lot of trick worms. They were $2.49 a piece, hard to beat, and they seemed to work really well. Again, it was my first time fishing them three days ago. It was unbelievable. All right, here we got the Z3 trick worm. Prism Shad. Really got this guy for the color. It's like a blue with a little bit of purple tint in it. Six stick color right there. Alrighty, up next. We got the Yum Mighty Worm. This guy comes in a five pack. And I want to say, yeah, this is the ten and a half inch version. Big old worm, man. Just a giant. So this is a green pumpkin and it's got like that summer crawl chartreuse on the bottom of it. Never fished big worms before. Something I'm definitely going to be trying to get into and uh, see how we do. You guys seen these before? Some Z-Man TRD Crawls. Really good finesse baits. You pair them up with the finesse shroom heads right here by Z-Man also. They go great together like that. Again, another good bait. It's hard to beat some craws. Um, I really think every company that makes a craw bait is going to catch fish. It really just depends on the action and I guess durability of the bait. This is the Nate, the Nate. This is the net bait pack of craw, right here. This is watermelon crawfish, and I got the five inch version. Now, normally when I get a craw bait, I'm gonna get the bigger size. Here's another one right here. This is the Kusa Special. Really cool, interesting color there. I really like that color a lot. Got some red flake on it and a darker back. But I normally go with the five inch bait. Because then if I need a downsize, I can just trim that guy up and make it shorter and shorter to the length I want it. So normally, with even, even with worms and stuff, I'll go with bigger worms unless they're like the really big meaty ones, like the 10 inches ones. But, you know, like 7, 8 inch worms. And they got this nice thin profile right here. Again, this is another Zoom Trick Worm in red-black core. Kind of a transparent uh, blood red color. But yeah, go bigger with the worms like longer wise not like the 
width wise but longer wise and then you guys can just trim them to the length that you need when you're fishing instead of buying a four inch worm a five inch worm a six inch worm seven inch worm just go with a seven eight inch worm and then you can cut them down and fish them just like that and they work perfectly fine all right up next another jean larue biffle bug these gnats are terrible green pumpkin chartreuse pepper another good old color right there oh more zoom super flukes salty super fluke white ice hard to beat the natural bait fish color profile here's some my daughter picked out she liked them she hugged them in the store she really wanted them these are by Lunker City, the six inch sluggo and bubblegum, really bright neon worm here. Crazy, crazy pink color. Alrighty, here we go. My biggest worms I've bought to this day. These are the man's jelly worm. Sorry, these are the man's original jelly worm. 12 inch worm right here, guys. An absolute monster worm. Um, if you guys have any tips about fishing big worms, drop them below. I'll definitely take all the tips I can get just because I've never fished a worm like that before ever. So definitely give me tips on that guy. All right, up next we got the Yappy series by Lunker Hunt. This is the Yappa Bug. You guys seen this in one of my recent videos. Absolutely killed them on that too. Really good jitterbug action and a hollow body version. Makes it completely weedless. Another sick bait, probably my favorite one I bought. This is the Mega Bass Prop Daughter Eye Loud. Really, really sick bait. That's the package right here. Yeah, I was already fishing it. One of the nicest lures I've probably ever ever fished. Super nice. I mean, super expensive. This guy costs around 30 bucks. But the action and the noise this guy gives off is incredible. So if you guys are looking for uh, high-end baits, Definitely check out the uh, Mega Bass Eye Loud right there. Sick bait. All right, some more 1.5s Tournament Series Bass Pro. So these are rattling. We got Chartreuse and then Chartreuse Shad right there. You can never have enough of those guys. All right, up next, another exclusive to Bass Pro. This is Live Target's Tennessee Craw. This is one of their new crawfish crankbaits you can only get at Bass Pro Shop. Really nice looking baits. Um, not sure on the color. This one is pearl blue chartreuse, and this guy is copper truce right there. So it's got that copper and chartreuse on the bottom. Love these baits. I love live target lures. Some of my favorites. Here's another copper truce actually. So I got uh, three of those guys right there. Got some fishing glue. Nothing crazy. Just some glue. I usually use super glue, but I just picked that up for the heck of it. Some new or some more Z-Man Trick Shot Shiners, finesse style. <coughs> Excuse me. Some Missile Baits D Bomb, just a solid black color for that stain condition. Fish around that grass. Probably think it's a leech or something. Here, this bait got all crushed up. Another live target. This is a hollow body crawfish in a chartreuse color right there. This guy is a half ounce version. Picked up one more of those. And then last right here is just a a mega bass jig head to go with those mega bass swim baits. Um, I'm not sure if I can find them right away or not. Right here. So this swim bait head goes with those hooks right there. So yeah guys that is that is completely everything. I hope I didn't go through it too fast. I mean I'm at 16 minutes now. It took a while to get through. I couldn't I could take them all out of the package but it'd be like a 30 minute video but if you guys want to see a bait up close, a better view of it, or if you guys want to see a fishing video on it, how to fish it, leave it in the comments below. Again, guys, everything was at Bass Pro Shops. Um, I had a $500 gift card that I used, and I'm a VIP member for two years, so I got a bit of a discount. So I think everything came to like $480, and I, sa I saved a bunch of money, so it was definitely worth it. So thank you guys for watching. This is Matt. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Bottles, popping bottles. <laughs>